Number two, it says, if any part of the feet is exposed, and this is ambiguous, so you may not need to correct this. If I take off my socks, though I'm in a state of purity, resulting from wiping, so it's Dhuhr time. I wore my socks earlier in the morning in the state of original wudu where I had washed my feet. I went to the bathroom a couple of times, passed wind, Dhuhr time comes, I perform wudu and I wipe over my socks. Valid? Valid. Now, after a couple of hours, it was a little bit hot. So, while in the state of wudu, which I just prayed Dhuhr with, I took off my socks for an hour. And then it's Asr time, I put them on. Can I wipe? The answer is no. Why? Because now in the second time where I had put them on, did I put them on in the state of an original wudu or of a, in the state of a wudu resulting from wiping? Mm, no. The answer is I wiped for dhuhr. In this case, you cannot wipe again. You have to wash your feet because you took off your socks. And this means that you interrupted the condition, which is to put them on in the state of an original wudu. Taking them off does not mean that your wudu is invalid. It's still intact until you break it. But you cannot put the socks again and wipe over them unless you have an original wudu from the beginning, from the start.